Hi, happy new year. First video for 2019, super pumped. We've got some amazing stuff coming. Actually, there's an update coming before the end of January, which is possibly one of the best updates, most exciting updates that we've ever done. Some more on that to come. You'll have to wait in anticipation for that one. But in the meantime, I've got this video about some cool, super cool things that we've added into workshop software and we are just about to release. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some of those things right now. So let's jump in there and check it out. So I'm just gonna jump into the booking diary and I'm just gonna show you what the booking diary currently looks like. Uh, you probably already know all this sort of stuff, but I just want to show you a change that we've made in here. So what you can see is that I've got uh, three mechanics shown there. And if I go to the, sorry, that's the second page. If I go to the first page, I've got uh, five mechanics shown on the first page and I had three on the second page, right? What we've got is we've got an update that if you go into the company settings, if you go for mechanics for booking diary, you can set that to a value. And let's say I'm going to set it to eight. I've got eight mechanics in my system. So if I go and set that, I can just jump back into the booking diary. I'm going to go into this particular day just once again, right, and click on it. And you'll notice now that this has got eight mechanics are all listed across the page, which allows you to see them all at the one time, which is super cool. One thing, a little caveat around this, uh, be aware if you've got 20 mechanics and you want to show all 20 on the one screen, great, you can do that. The challenge is if you've got a small screen or a screen that doesn't uh, apply to having that many, uh, you you know, mechanics on the screen itself, the screen might actually not look real great. So we designed it so that it's got a few people on it so that you can actually see things like each of the bookings quite easily and stuff like that. So complete disclosure, up to you as to how many you want to show in there, that sort of thing. Uh, but you've got that functionality, which is really, really cool. The next thing, it actually also relates to the booking diary. So up here, we've got the default uh, labor product in here, and I've set this to a service. You can set it to your general labor. You can set it to whatever you want. And actually, just a side note, you'll notice that this is spelt L-A-B-O-R. I've actually got this set for the United States. Uh, I've, I wanna show you a couple of things for specific for our United States uh, customers. So you'll notice some of the things are spelt differently and stuff like that. So don't be alarmed for our Australia and New Zealand clients. Uh, the, I've just happened to got this particular system set for the United States. So let's just jump back on track, back into the booking diary. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and create a booking. So I'm just gonna search for a customer, go create a booking. And what you'll notice now is that the service at 1.5 hours, which is the default hours I've got for that, is automatically put onto this particular uh, booking. So you don't have to remember to do that. There was a bit of an issue where if you didn't put a label line onto a booking, uh, it wouldn't appear in the booking diary. People got confused by that. So we've fixed that. And so that's gonna be a big help for users. So I hope you love that. Okay, another cool thing. Again, let's just jump back into company settings. Uh, if I scroll down here, you'll notice now that we've got these variable field labels. If I open that, you'll see that the plate or the registration number uh, field can be changed, the VIN and the fleet code. So for example, if I wanted to put that as uh, license slash maybe serial number, I might want the VIN to be something like uh, ID number, and I might want that to be something like a site code rather than a fleet code. So this is gonna change the label that you're gonna see throughout the whole system for this particular, for the registration for the VIN and for the fleet. Let's just take a look. So if I save that and I jump into the vehicles, so if I just scroll up and find the vehicles and go into any random vehicle in here, uh, you'll see that for starters, this has changed. You've got the site code up here. So if I pull up a random vehicle, you'll actually notice that this has got this on here, uh, the ID number, site code. So these labels have changed. When you print out an invoice, it will print it out with you know, site code, for example, instead of, and license or whatever you change that. So this is awesome if you're maybe not a general motor mechanic repairer. So if you're doing things like diesel repairs, farm machinery, maybe you work on equipment, you know, that sort of stuff. So you, you, you know, you don't even need a, 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 maybe you don't work on registered vehicles for argument's sake, and you can just call it a serial number or something along those lines. So great for those sorts of businesses. So that's another change that we've made to the system. So if you go and have a look in the actual uh, invoice itself, you can go and see this as well. So if we just jump into a random job here that we've got going, uh, you'll notice that this has got license serial number here. When you print out the invoice, that sort of stuff, um, you know, you've got that sort of thing. It all works uh, uh, really, really well. The other thing, uh, just for our United States customers, our North American customers, we've actually in integrated with the Parts Tech Labor Times, which is a really cool, this has got all the labor. So for example, if I pull up, say, the pads or something like that, what I can do is this has gone off and made a call. You'll see here the labor times are 
listed. I can add that labor time onto the actual transaction itself. So you'll notice here that this is, you know, added that particular item onto uh, the transaction or the invoice or the booking for that matter. Yeah, so the parts tech has got all sorts of different labor items on here. So, you know, if you wanted to choose, you know, electrical sort of stuff, um, maybe the, the wiper, you know, uh, fluid pump or something like that, uh, it takes, you know, 0.8 of an hour. You can just go and add that onto the invoice or at least know it. You can quote it. You can do those sorts of things. It's really, really cool. Uh, the other thing that we've done is under integrations, you'll notice now that the integrations menu has been updated. So it's got automotive accounting and marketing integrations in the automotive ones. Again, this is just for the North American ones. Uh, we've also got this tire registration. So you can, this is via a company tire metrics where you can register your tires. Uh, so if you go into a job and you uh, add a tire onto that particular job, you can register it. So that's a statutory requirement in North America. So if I put on uh, a set of, you know, set of tires, for example, on here, you can add the dot and the TIN number uh, and it will register it for you as well. You can also get tire pressure management system and see what the TPMS does on this particular vehicle. Uh, so that's all managed through that tire pressure management, the tire registration uh, integration as part of workshop software, which is again, really cool. Okay, another couple of settings that we've done in the system. If you go into company settings again, and we're just going to scroll down and go into invoice settings, there's two new settings in here, is hide tax on invoice lines. So if you don't want to print the actual tax amount on a, or the GST amount on an individual line item basis, you can turn that off. So in other words, on a, on a line by line basis, it won't show you the tax. Uh, on a, it will still show you tax at the bottom of the invoice, but it just won't show you it on each individual line. And you can also ask for the due dates when you process an invoice. And I'll show you what that one does. It, this will ask you for, for example, when the registration's due, or if you're in New Zealand, for example, of when the WAF's due, that sort of thing. So if we go into process an actual transaction, and when you process it, uh, it will actually say, when is the license plate due date? So you can actually say, okay, well, it's due on August the 20th and go and save that. And that will go and put that against that particular vehicle and associate that date as the next registration due date for that particular vehicle. So um, that's what that particular system does uh, for those couple of settings that are in the system. So again, love, hope you like these updates. One other cool little thing that uh, we've actually added in is uh, under the stock take, you've now got uh, a stock take single ad. And what this does is if I put a product in here and I put in a count, I can actually go and save this and that will go into a stock take just for that one product. What's really cool about this is you could scan a barcode, for example. So if you wanted to scan the barcode, it would find the product and put in the count and save and then get to the next product, scan the product, go and put the count in, save it and away you go. You do also still need to go into the stock take itself, right? And you need to actually process the stock take. So you need to go down in here and actually go and, pr and process the stock take it itself. So uh, where you go down and go process. So that's the process that you need to do even if you just do it on one product. So just go make sure you go and process the actual stock take and that will actually update all of the, all of the quantities that you've added in. So that's the update. Hope you love it. There's some really cool things. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there is a super cool update coming out. More details coming on that soon. But uh, as always, we love your feedback. We're acting on it and we really appreciate your uh, feedback with stuff and I hope you love this update. Thanks.